Listen, what's up, you guys? When I saw last week's episode, the very last scene, I immediately posted a video. And this video has gained traction like no other. So thank you guys if you've taken a look at it. I then posted a question asking if Priscilla was in a dream. And here are the results of that question. So some of us think that it was a dream and others think that she was not dreaming. But then we got a glimpse of the first lady in a scene from tonight's episode. So a lot of us don't know what to think. So it looks like we may not get that knockdown drag out confrontation from these ladies. So here's a little skit that I put together. So we will kind of know what it's like if they were to interact in such a way. Enjoy. Priscilla, where's Jason? I don't know, ma'am. Sam and his team are working on finding your son as we speak, ma'am. Are you all right, Priscilla? You haven't been yourself lately. I'm doing just fine, ma'am. Just making sure that we're able to find your son. Well, thank you, dear. I could only imagine what it would be like if I weren't able to find my child. <laughs> right. I'm sure that's all you can do is imagine because you don't have any children. No, ma'am. So, how long have you and Sam been trying to have children, hmm? Ma'am, I don't see what this line of questioning has to do with my job, ma'am. Oh dear, actually it does. If we resorted to the kitchen staff to help find my son, then it's very appropriate. I need to know how you interact with children. If you're unable to have a child, Priscilla, you may interact with mine quite differently, and that causes me to be concerned. The way that you interact with your own children, ma'am, you have nothing to worry about with me. <laughs> oh, Priscilla, watch your tone. Watch the tone, dear. So tell me, if you're unable to have a child, what about Sam? What about him, ma'am? Well, doesn't he want to have children? Yes, ma'am, he does. So what you gonna do, girl? What you waiting on? Listen, you know what they say about a man who's not satisfied at home. He will look elsewhere for what he really needs. Yes, ma'am. And they also say to leave married men alone because karma can be a bitch. Well, dear, if you're not giving him the children that he wants, what do you expect a man like Sam to do? A man like Sam, ma'am? Yes, strong, smart, handsome, and he's powerful. Women would come by the dozens to have a man like Sam. Really? And how do you know this, ma'am? Because I just may be one of them. Girl, don't act like you don't see the way he looks at me. He looks at everyone the same, ma'am. He's head of Secret Service. Well, just know this, dear. If I weren't the First Lady of the United States, you'd have some competition on your hands. And if I weren't an employee here, I'd take off these heels, pop off my earrings, and drag your ass all across this yellow room, ma'am. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there she is. There's that hood Priscilla that I want to see. So let's play a little game. Let's pretend for a moment that I'm not the first lady and I slept with Sam and got pregnant. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, girl? Enough said, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Ruthless TV. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're an Oval fan, and I'll see you on the next one.